there are several different ways for people to kiss, okay? Um, some of these you've actually seen on TV shows. The first one that most people are, are familiar with is the peck. So it's a sensual, I love you. <laughs> um, but a lot of people who are seeing me want to know what are the different ways that you can kiss and are there more ways to kiss than just that peck? And so the next level up, I guess I would say, is like your Disney kiss. So think of any like Disney movie or show or Harm Hallmark show where they kind of kiss their slightly open mouth but it's slow and it's soft. So I would honestly say it's like a sort of open mouth peck for a few seconds. And that's fine, a Disney kiss is fun too. You can do that. That's kind of like a, I'm, I'm sitting with you kiss. <laughs> that's my mouth open, I love it. So then in addition to that, there are different kinds of tongue kisses. So you can do a light tongue kiss where you just, you just slightly put your tongue out into your partner's mouth and you're kind of doing a little bit of a roll. I'm trying to use my fingers here to kind of it's a slight roll, you know, and it might just be tongue tips. So a little slight roll here. That's a type of kiss you can do. There's also um, a type of draw. So like, I don't want you to only think about kissing in terms of kissing mouth to mouth because there are different parts of bodies that you can kiss, right? So there's the suck kiss. If you think of like on an ear, it's funny. I, I've thought of all these different ways that people kiss in, in ears and some people really do like a tongue going down their ear and other people that feels like a wet willy, for example. So like, please make sure you're talking with your partner about like, do you like this? Do you not like this? I personally do not like a tongue in my ear, but what is nice is when the ear lobe, the bottom part is kind of tucked and like you can use your tongue to kind of suck tuck it, like you're pulling it a little bit or there's even like a little kiss and a, and a tongue going on for the ear. Um, but so another thing you can do when you're touch or when you're kissing different parts of a body is to trace things or to do like essentially tongue drawing. So you might like, you could actually, if you think of the neck, uh, well, obviously you can think and see, you don't have to think, here it is, right? So if you were tongue drawing like a heart, for example, you might trace a heart with your tongue or you might trace a circle with your tongue, for example. And so I'm using my finger as best as I can to show here's a tongue, but like here's a circle, oh, here's a heart. Oh. So you can try with tongues. You can do just the, the slurp suck like this, which this is my attempt at showing lips slurp sucking, but there's this. There's a little bit of the nibble that you can do. So you can kind of, so be very careful when you use teeth and make sure that you are communicating with your partner, but very light light teeth can be very sexy in terms of a kiss if you think of kissing down someone's back for example it's it's a thicker skin in the back so actually that's an area where a little bit of bite kissing can be very sexy um, and it can be light so this is a small bite kiss which is like like that but then there is I don't, you don't have to be as loud as i was i think i'm being a little more expressive because i'm on a video so like if it, if it makes sense, make the noise, but if it doesn't, it's not a big deal. You know, like you can also be quieter, um, but that's that's if it's a light bite. If it is a, a bigger bite, you can actually take a whole bite, for example, but like, again, be ca cautious about like, you're not chomping like, <laughs> and it's more of a, ah, you know, you're taking a full bite, but you can do a big bodied bite like that on the back or on a shoulder or even on a muscle, for example. So thinking about kissing, um, when you think about kissing, I want you to think about what parts of a partner's body that you find sexy or pretty or handsome. So like, say you like your partner's muscles. Well, that, that's a great place to kind of do that bigger bite kiss where you kind of like, Arr, but it's, again, it's a soft bite unless, now, unless your partner is really into it. I don't want to, I don't want to like judge anybody's kink because some people really like a hard bite, but remember, just ask them before you do a big jump. But you can bite like a muscle, you can kiss, if you're doing more of the soft kiss for a, for a female, for example, you might do like a soft kind of soft kisses up an arm, for example. And those can be, those can still be your Disney kiss style, which is a little bit open mouth, but then a little bit closed mouth too, right? So all of these are just different ways to experience and explore kissing. Um, but I challenge you to talk with your partner about things that you like, what, what feels good, whether it's more tongue, whether it's less tongue, and um, then, then practice it on your body. So this is Angela Skirtu, and please like and subscribe for more tips. Also, if you would like to see me as a therapist, I'd like you to fill out a contact form at my website, therapistinstlouis.com.